what was your favorite scene either to film or just to just watch as a fan of the film? I like, uh, I really liked personally, I liked seeing I've never the musical number because I was like, we did a musical number and f-ing, I love it. I mean, we, there's a couple, you know, obviously there's a couple things, but that one to me especially was like to make kind of the one time he's reflective be a song, uh, was I thought was a coup. <laughs> And we got this graveyard for free, like right by that. <laughs> You're like, what the f- is this? It's like coming together. We had a steady cam guy who like broke his back f- and following me around because I kept f-ing up the mouth, the mouthing. <laughs> and uh, it was, that was great. And then, oh, you know what? It's like, and she, I mean, she, she's uh, in Handmaid's Tale. She plays the librarian, like for some reason. And uh, for that's for that for some reason that scene, she was so good that she actually made me feel bad when I was supposed to be trying to make her feel bad. And I'm like, oh my god! When you work with, uh, she just communicated exactly what you know what I mean. It's like she, it's like she dug into our minds and got the meaning of the thing. Anybody else would have probably just act like read that on the page and be like okay i'm annoyed and frustrated with this person but you oh no yeah it would have been a very one you know like it was so three-dimensional that you're like why doesn't why don't we follow this character for the rest of the movie you do realize realize had you picked up the books off the floor that you just flung on the floor she would have no idea where you put your books at and everything would have been fine (laughs) but k-ross not about picking up other books who cares (laughs) what a prick this guy is you know but uh oh and then um i think that watching it i love Jack's pants, the Jesse reading Jack's pants, because I think that that, is, that made me laugh so hard. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. the way Jesse and talk about a good, talk about a good performance is where he, like, he really like could, it. he really could be. I mean, he just is like it's so innocent, such a child. I just love it. Yeah, and that's a, that's just another moment that speaks to his loyalty to K. Roth. That he sees the despair that K. Roth is in in that moment. It's like I will tell me story, K. Roth. I will, I will, uh, I will amuse you by letting you perform. <laughs> I got so, my blanket. The blanket came in like two seconds. He pulled it out of nowhere. Like I got a blanket. I'm like, why are you carrying around a blanket for stories? <laughs> And then the way that the, uh, the the person, you know, the board for the library just so happens to show up <laughs> in time to deny it. Yeah, like, I mean, that was, we were like, oh, okay, this is getting so British. Like, <laughs> this is getting so Monty Python. But that's another thing that, like, Jesse just totally understood was, like, uh, that's another scene that I love him in uh, is the picnic with the old man when he's playing the waiter. I just think that that, in his monologue, like, you know, all this shit, and I do stand up and I've been in movies that are, you know, uh, doing a modern comedy, as you said, like a lot of those performances could go off the rails and just be really kind of trying to be funny. But yeah, there is yeah. this element of Jesse who's like, I'm not trying to be funny. It's like, I'm, yeah. this is a serious endeavor we're involved in. <laughs> Yeah. And when he does his monologue, I'm like, I just f- cried. I was like, dude, that is the best that could be done by anybody. Find us in all these links. It's coming up right now. That's the trailer.